Hey everybody, welcome back to Cruise Ship Manager. Hope you're having a great day today. We have a full boat ahead of us as we make our way to a brand new destination, Dubrovnik, which I have no idea if that's actually how you say it. So I'm probably butchering that name uh, the entire time and I apologize for that if that's the case. Um, going into management really quick, making sure we have every position full. Uh, it looks like we need to fill the bartender roles. So let's take a quick look at bartenders, get Pierre on that. Uh, and then we have one more bartender and that's going to be, I guess we'll start out with Peter. Okay. So two bartenders, we're ready to rock and roll. We have that one extra person. We're going really light on crew, trying my best to make as much money as I can in our cruise ship manager hard mode. Oh, that's something to tell the kids. Hey, do you guys remember the time when I, I got hard mode done in cruise ship manager? Hey, you know, this game's uh, indie games, right? We, we, I try to show indie games as much as I can because, you know, independent developers, they, they got it hard. Right? I don't know what it's like to be an independent developer, but I, I'm pretty sure it's more difficult than being a big studio, right? So I want to show them as love, uh, as much love as I can. Uh, so when they, they make something that people like, you know, I, I want to, you know, give credit where credit's due. And so uh, if you guys like it, make sure you're, you know, if you, if, you're, if you bought the game or anything like that, make sure you're leaving a Steam review because uh, it really helps, especially ind independent developers. And if you don't like it, you know, feel free to leave a negative review too. I'm just asking for people to leave a review basically. Um, but it really helps independent developers uh, when you uh, provide that feedback, uh, especially if they're willing to continue development even after it's sold, right? That happens a lot. So that's what early access is all about. Yeah, everybody just goes to the freaking diner right away. <laughs> now, the good news is, though, is like as soon as everybody leaves the diner, then I can have a skeleton crew up there and I can move them around and really take care of the rooms and stuff. So I think that's what I'm ultimately going to do here. We have a, a bit of a dirt spot down here and just make sure en Enrique takes care of that really quick. Uh, and obviously we need to check all the rooms. I think there was one in here that just it needed work already. I think it's this one here. Uh, yeah, this one here needs it to a little bit of a fix, but we'll have plenty of people to do that as soon as everybody's done eating Because everybody decided to come to the diner all at once so That's no good <laughs> uh, I think we pretty much covered it though Looks like we only have one person waiting now and everybody's basically done eating now They can come down and get drinks, which is where the skeleton crew was needed before so now everybody's going to come down and get drinks. So now what I want to do, since everybody's kind of been served already, we're going to unassign you two, give you a break. Or so unassign, let's say two of you. How about we unassign you two? Uh, we'll get you guys unassigned so that you can kind of rest those skills. And we'll get you uh, over here. So let's say we want a durability. I get Cassandra to do that one. And we'll go ahead and have uh, Stefano go ahead and do that one. Uh, I'm pretty sure our person is yeah right down here where this is. So... We're going to want Enrique to maybe follow up with this floor. And so now we end up having uh, one person on each floor to just cover all the rooms really quick and then get back to work. We'll leave a skeleton crew up here for now since everybody just went there. All the guests are just done there now. Uh, so have, have uh, Enrique do this. I haven't decided if I'm going to... I, I think I'm going to uh, get the storage room on the next port. So I think we'll get that in Dubrovnik. Um... Because it's, uh, we're not buying provisions there, so I can spend the money on uh, on a new room. And that way I can then have the janitors and stuff, and I don't have to do this anymore. Uh, there's only one customer, so you should be ready to go, Antoinette. Uh, who else can do this? I think Enrique's down here, so I don't remember who's on what floor. I think Steph uh, Cassandra's on this floor. So it's th they're both on this floor, okay. So... They probably just came down the stairs, though. But they're still on this floor anyway. So uh, we'll have Cassandra do that one. Stefano's going to go up top. And there's actually nothing else to do up top. So we don't need to go up top. We can just have you... Uh, we'll have you fix this one. Stefano, come fix that one. Yep. I don't remember which one I assigned Cassandra to. But we're just going to do that. So Just taking care of some rooms while we can. And then Enrique... I'm going to put you on a post, I think, here. We're ready to put you on a job. Yeah, we'll put Enrique on a job. So, Enrique, what job are you good at? Uh, you're good with... You're kind of good with a whole lot of things, honestly. Might even be able to put you on engineering. Uh, Walter's already kind of drained a little bit. He could be doing something else. So, how about I get Enrique to come down and fix this? And then once he's done fixing this, we'll shift you into the engineering role. Uh, as far as our captain goes, definitely need to relieve the captain as well. And I think 
there was a person that was working up here that had good organizational skills and that is Antoinette. So she's currently up here uh, already in this position. We're going to have her swap to captain which is she's right next to this. And I think I'll have you do that right now. We might as well just do it right now. So we'll have you really quick Antoinette management have Antoinette right here. Swap to captain, please. Since you guys are you're physically right here. So that's a very fast change. That's why I want that to happen. Um, lots of people down at the bar. Bartenders are gonna be busy. I think they're I think they're gonna be emotionally prepared for it. All right? I think they're good to go. Enrique's fixing this right now, which is great. We're gonna go ahead and get him on the engineering role. There we go. That swaps the engineer out, and now Enrique can take that take that role. And then we're gonna send Walter up to just uh, I think we'll have him be a cook for now Walter can just go down and be uh he doesn't have good service right yet because Walter could just be a cook for now something for Walter to do and then uh that final role since we've already kind of done most of everything else that final role let's say Stefano you can go and be a server so Cassandra's gonna take a break Cassandra gets a little bit of time off just a little bit although she's fully She's actually good to go. We should actually relieve one of my bartenders now. That's what I should do. Yeah. We're going to have Cassandra relieve one of the bartenders. Doesn't have doesn't matter which one. Just pick one and relieve them. There we go. I'm not sure why people are getting negatives. Like I wish I could tell why that is, you know? Is it just because you have no energy cuz eh, I don't know. You know, it probably is. It's probably because you've visited the same service twice. They don't like to visit the same service like over and over again. So it might just because I have limited services available. That could be the case. Um, again, I want to get the storage room, but I also want to uh, make sure I get uh, maybe the fitness room too, because that would give us an extra service. And we're kind of very limited here on space. And I'm pretty sure the fitness room is going to be a pretty, I mean, it's a fitness room. It's going to be a pretty sizable room, right? So probably need to consider upgrading my boat first maybe I don't know Pierre you're gonna go around and clean things already actually already uh, repaired here or recovered so actually why don't we have you relieve Peter we'll have Peter on a sign because we can do a skeleton crew down here now let's have you come down and you and Peter can both do this yeah Peter's gonna come over and do this too so Peter you're gonna come over and let's have you handle i kind of wish i could do an overlay where i could see all of them and not have to click them peter we're gonna have you come over and clean this so since everybody just went to the bar we can go a little bit lighter down here and have other people you know doing some things we're fully staffed up here which is probably unnecessary let's see about maybe giving diana a break seems like a good idea she's she's yellow so Give her a little bit of a break. Again, send her around to clean various rooms. And, uh, you know, that's part of her break is just being able to go over and clean. It's not really a break per se. It's more like you just can relax your brain and not have to do that job anymore. Uh, so Pierre is already standing here. So we're going to say Pierre does the fixing on that. There's an awful lot of this, isn't there? Cleaning micromanagement, right? So we have to I think they I think there's room for improvement on that experience, to be honest. Have Pierre come back over. We're gonna have you do this room now. And then we just have like every room. We just want to touch it really quick and make sure we're good here. Um seeing this place getting a little bit more busy. Yeah, bars getting busy. Let's maybe get somebody down down there. Uh we'll have uh okay pierre's pretty much ready to go we'll have you come down for a bartender now i like that you were doing this stuff but we need that bartender to to be there uh fix peter fix this peter I, I don't like the fact that it's fix and clean i wish it was just attend to this you know like the separation of these roles creates two clicks in, an, in a task that's already like not fun to click right you, you don't want to have two clicks or have to deal with two clicks also, I think Diana needs to come up and do this now, too. I'm going to turn her around and have her come up here. But we need to get you down to the bar. Looks like it's going to get busy. Probably people will get hungry again, I would think. 
So getting prepared, having being prepared to have somebody else go back to the kitchen would be a good idea too. Uh, we're good on our captain for the remainder of the cruise. We're good on our engineering for the remainder of the cruise. Although getting Walter back here would save us fuel. Uh, so we can maybe look at getting Walter back to that. I think so. Um, yeah, we're going to get Walter back to this. I can't have him fix this, unfortunately. Um, which would have been really great if I could have had them fix that. Um, because then if I, if I could just say, hey, fix it anyway, then he's already in the room to swap, which is what I wanted to do here. Uh, so I can't really do that well. Um, see a breakdown of these different rooms. I decided to click the little cogs. See a breakdown of this. So this current engine setting is currently using two per second for this room, maybe? It says the engineer decreases fuel use uh, by the ship. We get a fuel bonus for that. So it looks like our current usage is 6.5, but the default usage is 4.7. So I'm not entirely sure how that's giving us a bonus. Uh, but it is, I guess. Yeah. I guess maybe it's because we have a lot more people. There's a lot more rooms. The more things you add to the ship, the heavier it is. And then the more fuel it uses, that's... I, I, I would guess that's probably what it's, what's going on here. I don't know that, but I would guess that's probably what's going on here. All right, we have a fire. And that fire is up here. So we have people available here to deal with this right away. Right? They're standing right here. So I'm, I would hope they would just do it. But in case they don't, I'm going to tell Stefano to go ahead and do that. Which she's... Yep, there you go. Somebody kick into, kick into action, please. All right, let's just make sure we fully staff everything uh, for the remainder of the trip. We'll just put you down there. And then Peter is our extra guy who's got okay organizational skills too and good engineering skills. Peter would make a good captain, honestly. But I'm not going to swap the captain for this trip. We'll, we'll put captain on. We'll put Peter on the captain on the way back if we can. Uh, Peter will just uh, hang out, I guess. I don't think we're... Think it's super vital. I mean, maybe we could have you switch to the pub. Yeah, we could maybe put you in the pub. I don't know. I think they're good the way they are, though. There's not that much crews left, so... Yeah, we're all right. Peter can just chill. Unless there's a room that, like, really needs it bad, I guess. We could just send you there, but it doesn't really... I don't think it really matters for the duration of this. 20% more to go, so... We didn't hit our goal for happiness, though. It's really strange that the happiness goal is only two stars. Like, that's a very strange thing, because I've catered to everyone's needs here. Um, we're still getting people, you know, being unhappy. Uh, even though, like, everything is there, provisions are available, staff is adequately there, I mean, every, everything is good. So I'm not entirely sure why it's only giving me a two-star rating here, but, uh, you know, I, I feel like I played this okay. Maybe it's just the nature of the hard mode for this. I don't know, but... Um, I, f I feel like it should have been... I should have a higher ranking for this. Is it the fire? Because I can't control that, you know? 96, 97. We'll have 100% now. Let's see what we get. We didn't hit... I mean, we hit... Two stars is the the requirement, but it wasn't, like, exceeding the goal, right? The Antalia. We have now unlocked a new harbor that we can go to. So that's very good. And it uh, looks like there's a different ship available here for that as well. That is a really expensive provision market. So we definitely don't want to do that. Uh, apparently, this was a bad rating. We didn't get the goal, which is very strange because I thought we were really on top of everything there. The only thing I can think of is just maybe having subpar skills in certain jobs. Possibly. I, I, don't, I can't think of anything else, right? Uh, either way, though, I think uh, we now have this one, which is a cool place to go to. It certainly seems like there's a really high goal here. We would want to add additional, you know, stuff to the ship. So we can go back to Athens, get more fuel, and then head over to Messina and get more provisions, and then maybe go to Antalya. Um, and, or we could just go all the way to Barcelona now, which is obviously a very expensive trip because it's very long. Um, so there's there's options here. You know, there's there's definitely options here to, to figure out. And uh, for building the ship, we have either the storage room for 4,500, which would help me a lot, but doesn't get me any additional money. It just helps me with micromanagement portions. We don't have enough to do anything here. And um, the only way I'm gonna get more money for the cruise is, is by selling more tickets and having more room. So if I don't do 
anything else. I probably, sh if I can add one, two, I can add three more cabins. And then there's the bottom that's available for the storage room. Uh, or I can go in and get a gym, which is $24,000. Obviously very, very large. And we wouldn't be able to fit this and the storage room in this ship. We'd have to have less passengers. So I'm, I'm kind of thinking the goal here is just to get, you know, to save money, I suppose. Maybe we don't buy anything. Seems weird not to buy anything when you have space on the ship, though. And optimizing, you know, having more uh, more cabins just leads more to more money, right? More guests equals more money. At least it should. That's the way it should work, I think. Um, I'm not sure if this is the right side or not. It says right-sided version, but, like... I'm confused. Let's go with this. Well, that's certainly different, isn't it? <laughs> that's a different room. It's a very different room. Um, we're going to put this down here. Um, I thought for sure I was buying a different color cabin than that. I guess there's... Okay, you can change the color and then you can change the style. That's interesting. Okay. That's what I was looking for, I guess. So this is me changing styles. I want, I think I want this one right here. This is the one I'm looking for. Yeah. We'll put that down there. So I've added two uh, cabins for people instead. Um, I just don't know about spending money because we're gonna want to, I mean, I want to upgrade my ship and I want to, I want to get a bigger ship and everything and that's 15 grand and then I need that to have more room and I'm not sure I'm getting the great, getting great ratings here, you know? So maybe what I'll do is between videos we can do, like I'll do a couple of other random cruises. I want to show, I want to show progression. I don't want to, I don't have people waiting around. I want to show progression. That's how I like to do it. Um, maybe another green room here. Put another green room right here. So we have more guests, right? We'll leave this spot open here for storage later. We're not buying any provisions here, so I can afford not to have any money here. And then um, I think probably what we'll do is I could go all the way down to here, but then I have to go to Athens. It's 250 per ticket, which is great, you know? We can Then I have to go to Athens and without buying any fuel. It's probably not great. So I think maybe what I do is I stop by Messina first and then go to Antilla. That way I can get the provisions and then I can move over to get fuel. It's just a longer, it's just quick trips, right? It's a really sh small amount of money per ticket. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't think I can do this. Like it's, it's 1200 nautical miles right now. And um, like the goal and the difficulties of his all is it's like kind of too high for this. Um, we're gonna need more fuel is what I'm saying. So, uh, cause like 17,000 units of fuel, you might think is a lot. Uh, like we're using seven and a half per second. So like, I would think that, you know, maybe this is 39 minutes of fuel. I don't know how long that translates. Advertised length is two days is what it says, but I don't know what like minutes translates to days. Like, I don't know how that works. Is it, is it actually like a 24 hour day? Cause that seems like a lot of fuel, you know, like if, if we have 39 minutes worth of fuel, it, it can't possibly be a direct translation. So I'm not entirely sure how that works. Um, but I, I, I don't think I can actually hit the difficulty goal anyway to, to get the uh, reputation rewards and everything. So, um, why don't I, instead, we're going to try to go to Athens first, we're going to grab more fuel, go to Messina, grab more provisions, and then head over to Antalya. Uh, or we can do the other way. We could say this, this, and this, but then the ticket prices are really nice, right? 250, but it's, it's also further distance. So kind of, I think we're going to go to Athens first. The fuel, I think is the biggest, the biggest thing. So we're going to go back to Athens for this. And, um, you know, we're in build mode. Everything is fine. Nothing to see here. As far as crew goes, I don't have anything, uh, left to do there. We're just going to keep the same people and tickets. So to sell tickets for this. Uh, average prices estimated for 112, right? Like you said, uh, we're gonna go to newspaper ad, ad or maybe we just reduce the, I think we just reduced the price of the ticket, 350. I'm okay with people paying less to get on the boat because they'll end up paying more when they get on the, when they get on the boat. So let's go down 95% and see if we can sell 15 tickets. 
All right. We're gonna go back to Athens. I'm not confident that we can do 1,300 miles with this this much fuel. I'd like to see like how the tran like how that translates to like, how this distance translates to the actual cruise distance, right? So I could tell ahead of time whether or not I have enough fuel to reach that destination. So let's just see, right? Let's just see how this works. Uh, from Dubrovnik back to Athens, we'll see what that nautical, the nautical miles that we, we, we travel and how much fuel we use in that amount of time. And that way we might be able to do some uh, stuff in our head there too, huh? Um, room repairs, room cleaning, it doesn't really cost anything. So we could just have all that happen for us and pay a price for it. Uh, or we can do it ourselves later, which is what I plan to do. We're going to save 1900 bucks. Which sounds pretty good. So we can hopefully, by saving that 1900 bucks uh, or 1980, almost 2000 bucks, I can hopefully purchase another service. I think maybe I'll keep the storage room off of this, to be honest. Um, so I think I'm doing okay and pe having people, you know, move around the boat and everything. I think we're doing okay there. Uh, looks like Peter is my spare dude. So Peter... I want you to go fix this. Uh, Peter, go fix this this bed. Apparently, that port didn't offer that as a service, right? But you see how fast the fuel gets used? Like, if I go, like, say, four times speed, right? 7.2 per second with all these, you know, with, oh, my God, everybody's in the diner. Look at everybody in the diner at the same time. Now, why does that person get a negative five? It's because they've waited a quarter of this wait time so if they reach that point it seems like that triggers them somehow but this person doesn't isn't mad not yet <laughs> not yet this person here are you gonna get mad at me no you're served no okay you, you just got a negative emotion after being served you just got served food i i, I don't know how to offset that i feel like you know, like we have maximum staff in the room. The only thing I think of is just having better staff, right? Have better people for service. And that's that's the only thing I can do. So I think a lot of these other locations that require us to maybe have... Oh, hang on. Uh, Peter, go fix this. These other locations that require a lot of happiness goals. Hello. This person here wants me to bring her toilet paper. <laughs> Uh, Peter's gonna have to do that too. I think we'll do that first because that's likely to have a bigger impact on happiness you No, know, than a dirty floor is not having toilet paper. <laughs> I feel like that's gonna have a much bigger impact on a person's happiness uh, Yep, and then uh, Peter can come back and clean this dirt. Actually, you know what? There's really not a whole lot to do down here at the moment So I'm gonna have Cassandra go and do it instead Cassandra come over and clean this dirt Because nobody's really in the pub yet, so yeah, we're just going to have you do that. Uh, now that everybody's come up here, I think I'm going to go ahead and just uh, let these guys rest. So let two of these guys rest. Leave this as a skeleton crew for the time being. And uh, we're going to obviously need the bartender to return. Hello, fires. Where's the fire? Wow, it's really far away. That's That sucks. <laughs> it's so far away. Uh, I don't see the nearest crew member that could respond to this. You actually have your food on the way. So I think Walter is the closest crew member to this. So I'm going to have Walter sprint out of the kitchen to go deal with that fire. Because he's actually closer than any other crew member to deal with it. And then also we have to heal this person. So I'm going to come over to... Uh, let's have Karen have Karen come up and heal this person because they are they are injured they are wounded in fact I could have had Walter do it I suppose because he was like right next to her but that's okay as far as the rooms go let's double check uh rooms durabilities and everything let's get Peter on this floor and uh we'll go ahead and maybe have uh Karen can go do this floor actually I want you to heal that person first did you get to her yes you did right here She's healed. Perfect. Okay. So now you can go in and clean this room too. So we'll have you two do a room sweep while there's uh, less people up here. We need to, two bartenders, but probably nobody or next to nobody's going to come into this area. So we can go, you know, like I said, skeleton crew for a little bit there. Uh, which, who are you? Karen is down on this floor. So Karen goes here. That means Peter should be. 
Peter should be either on the bottom or the top. Where is he going to be? I think Peter's going to be down here. Diana is also available as well. But Peter down here, Diana can be the top. Diana, come over and you're going to be in the top. All right. All right. So that's how I'm going to organize my cleaning crews for these rooms for a second. All right. So I just have to basically look and see where each of them are and assign them. So let me just do all this. It's, I know it's busy work that's really not captivating content at all. So I'll be right back. Okay, so we definitely have some more people heading into the diner right now. Um, and so, like, this is something that I have to address now. We have more people coming in. So, we're going to want to make sure that people who are ready to go can get there. Diana's already on the top floor, right? So, we're going to send her back into the server spot here. Uh, yeah, well, there's better service as Karen, I guess. So, but I kind of want to maybe swap... I think I'll probably have to swap Antoinette into that service position soon. So we'll get Karen up here first, and then after some people are served, then we'll swap them in. So Karen, you're gonna come in as the server on this side, and Diana's gonna go to the cook spot. And then again, we need to get people uh, in here because they're gonna start having, uh, they're gonna start wanting food again. Down here, I do need to swap you guys too. If I take a look at my uh, engineer is Enrique at the moment. I'm gonna have Walter, and he's in the kitchen at the moment. So I kind of need to maybe wait for that, but I, I think I want that actually. I want Walter to shift and put Enrique over there. So we're gonna have Walter come down and fix this. Is that a good time to do it right now though? I don't think it's a good time to do it. It's very close. I don't know. Like, there's there's only going to be, like, three more people to serve here. Two more people. I think you guys can handle that. Yeah. We'll go ahead and have Walter come down and uh, and fix this. And then we'll swap Enrique uh, once he's down here. We also have another thing to clean. And that's going to be not Peter. Peter's going to shift into cover a bartender. Because Peter's up here, which is not where I want you, Peter. Peter needs to come down, and everybody's served down here, which is great. So we're going to have Peter cover one of the bartenders. doesn't matter which one. And then whichever bartender swaps, there you go. You are the one that are that is going to... You're the one that's going to come over and clean up this mess. And your name is Pierre. Hi, Pierre. Pierre is going to come over here and do this. All right, Walter's going to head into engineering now. He just fixed this. I didn't quite stop him from starting to walk away. So real quick, Walter, go to engineer. And then as you switch, you're already going to be here. Very good. And then Enrique, you have your gastronomy and service. Uh, we can have you relieve Stefano. So Enrique will now go up and relieve Stefano in the diner. All right, and that it removes a cook. But again, I think we're okay on that. Skeleton crew is okay in this particular instance. Um, and actually, I don't want Stefano to be here at all. You need to unstaff you entirely. Okay, uh, we have another person down here that needs to be replaced. Um, the captain is also needing to be replaced right now. So that leads me to where is my captain? Oh, captain, my captain. Dinner, diner, server you Karen you're swapping to you're swapping to captain now that's gonna have Antoinette unassigned and so we'll have Antoinette come in and uh, she can be I guess she's gonna have to be serving right we need we need someone else to cook and everything so yeah I have to have you cook so this, there's a lot of micromanagement in the game. I'm not entirely sure if this is the kind of thing that will continuously persist uh, as things get bigger. I feel like they're going to be starting to have more services and more options, more jobs, and more people. But that also might mean a little bit more busy work, uh, a little bit more micromanagement. Um, I, I, I want to reiterate also, because I, I know this is going to be a comment all the time about how it's like just a clicker game and it's just nonstop maintenance with the storage room. If I ever can freaking buy it, uh, then a lot of this stuff, I don't think all of it, but a lot of the stuff gets taken care of automatically from what I can tell. Um, so I just have to, I just think it costs too much to be honest. Like that storage room being 4,500 bucks is just too expensive. 
And I know it's more expensive because it's 50% more because of the difficulty that I've chosen. I realize that that's the case. Um, but I still think it's, uh, I think it's a little bit pricey, just to be honest. Because like it, it doesn't really give you... How do I word it? It gives you a really valuable tool in that you can automate things that wouldn't otherwise be automated, right? It gives you that. Um, but the other thing it gives you, I'm gonna swap this actually. Uh, I wanted to put him to the server role and then swap him with the other cook. He's got great gastronomy here. Uh, and actually, I'm gonna also want to get somebody down to cover my, my bartender. So Stefano's gonna go down there now. All right. So I, I think there's, we're good, obviously, for the rest of the uh, the video here because it's 100% on the cruise. But the, the reason why I didn't choose the new location was because I'm really not sure that I can hit the goals. And you can see I'm already under the goal with the current people. And and that's, like, there was no way I can get that kind of, of goal. But I can get bonuses for hitting the goals. Um, so I was kind of looking to do that. And you'll also notice that um, we have 12,000 fuel. So 12,000 fuel to go from here to here. We have 12,000 left. So I feel like we would have had enough to get here. It's just, I don't know that we would have at the time. So it's a little bit like, I kind of wish there was more information available to the player. Things like, hey, you know, like give me a range here, like a mile range here estimated at current rate and that way if i don't have a captain for example for a while then that gets reduced this this minutes it, this minutes thing doesn't help me i want miles i want nautical miles right because that way i know okay i have enough fuel at the current rate i have enough fuel to reach this destination that would be way more helpful than than minutes i don't minutes doesn't do anything for me um so like 629 miles should be good. We just traveled 809 miles and I still have 12,800 fuel left. So that's, that should have been fine. And then I have another 600 miles to go from here. Now that is interesting uh, because if this is 600 miles, then yeah, there's the less efficient route. So actually going from here to here and then to here is of course gonna be less, it's gonna be more miles than just going straight there. We might have been able to make it, you know? I probably should have looked at that. We might have been able to make it. But uh, I have $6,000 and I am, I have, to, I don't really have to choose. The fitness room is 13,500. So there's no real choice here. I, I just simply go for the storage room, right? That's, it's not like I have any other choice here. So we go for the storage room. I'm gonna place this, I guess it can just be anywhere. So I'm gonna place it here. And with the storage room, I now have uh, an extra job. So now I don't have any spare people. Okay. That could potentially be an issue because without spare people, like swapping becomes a little bit more challenging. Maybe what I'm hoping is that this room stops me from having to do all this. <laughs> That's what I'm really hoping, uh, for. So we are already here, uh, in Athens. We're going to need more provisions and I'd like to go to Bar back to Barcelona here because that's a pretty good uh, trip. But it's also 1,500 miles, which again, I just don't see that's enough. I just don't think so. Um, so we're gonna want to get fuel here, of course, and then we can go all the way over here. I don't wanna get, I wanna get provisions here, right? So I think this is my my cruise here. I'm gonna take Athens back to Messina. Uh, we'll buy fuel now, we'll get provisions here. Then we'll go to Antalya, okay, from this point and hope Hopefully, what we can do is we can buy enough fuel here to last us here and here. Uh, and if we can do that, then, well, it's, a, yeah, yeah, that's not great. Maybe we don't buy fuel here this time. Maybe we just keep going to Messina this time around. We'll buy provisions, come back, buy fuel, go here. Could always go like Barcelona to Antalya seems like a really challenging cruise, doesn't it? It's a, such a long distance. But see, now the difficulty is way lower because it's so close, right? So like the further you go, the more difficult it is. That's the challenge. And I'd like to do a really highly challenging one, right? I'd like to, uh, but you need a lot more fuel to do that. So like if I, if I was gonna do this one, for example, uh, if we confirmed this cruise, would I have enough provisions to do it? 15 people? 
maybe. Uh, if we did this though, I would, I would have to have a lot more fuel, right? A lot more. So tell you what, why don't you tell me where you'd like me to go? <laughs> in the comments uh we've done two cruises for this video i think that's probably pretty good we can probably stick to two cruises per video if we have any future videos i don't know that yet still gonna assess the comments and everything um but and, you know and viewership and all that stuff um but if we do uh, you know future videos I, I think two cruises per video is probably a good way to go about it uh because they're actually quite quick and i can cut through them because there's a lot of busy work and stand uh, standby time too so it's kind of a hurry up and wait game, right? We've played those before. Uh, it's kind of a hurry up and wait game. And uh, so I think what it might do is buy a bunch of fuel now, sell the tickets to Barcelona, go over there. The, the, the longer the cruise, the more money they spend on the cruise, right? They're gonna buy provisions. So we'll have to have enough provisions to get there. I think a thousand is, is plenty. I think a thousand is good, but we'll then most likely have to buy them in Barcelona. And it's kind of an average price. So we'll restock, then go back to Messina, then go here, then go here. Like it's, I don't know yet. So that's why I'm asking you guys. Let me know what your thoughts are. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. We have the storage room now. Hopefully there's less micromanagement going forward. Okay. Bye-bye.